Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we will see how to turn a regular image into a ghost photo effect using Adobe Photoshop. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will take the image I will be using and open it in here. Alright, now the first thing that we are going to do is to add a little bit of white uh, on the eyes. So just to make the eyes look a little bit spooky. So we'll go ahead and uh, select uh, the, the brush tool. And the brush we'll be using is a, a regular brush. So I'm just gonna uh, select this one in here. As you can see the hardness is set to 0%. And for the opacity, I'm gonna go between 20 to 10%. So I will go for about 18% and then I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna change the blending mode of this layer to a hard light and then I will zoom to the eyes to one of the eye in here and I'm gonna start you know making uh, the, the eye looks a little bit whiter just like this as you can see that's a little bit to create that spooky a white in the eye effect and in this eye too really quickly all right i think this will do as you can see now we have this kind of spooky eyes now i'm gonna create a stamp visible layer so i'm gonna press ctrl shift alt e all together and this will create a new layer with what it's visible in here so it will put it on this layer as you can see now I can delete this uh, layer in here and now this will leave us with this one with, with the eye in here so let me call this with white eyes alright as you can see now I'm gonna duplicate this uh, layer so I'm gonna press ctrl J and I will call it BW for black and white and of course I'm gonna desaturate it so I'm gonna press ctrl shift U and this will turn it to black and white and then I'm gonna duplicate this black and white layer so I'm gonna press ctrl J again and I will call it motion blur and I will go to filter blur and I will choose motion blur and for the angle in here I'm gonna put zero uh, angle and for the distance I will put 100 but this will uh, depend on the resolution of your image you might need to uh, experiment with uh, the values of this distance pixels in here all right so and I will press ok now I'm gonna apply a layer mask on this uh, motion blur layer so I will go and one click on this uh, layer mask icon and then by using the same brush I'm gonna just delete a little bit from the eyes and the mouth and the nose and uh, of course my foreground color need to be black and I will start just one click like this and for the second eye too just like that and the same thing for the mouth and the nose just like that you don't need to be that really visible just to create this kind of effect and now I'm gonna create another stamp visible layer so I'm gonna press ctrl shift alt e all together and I will call this highlight and then I would go to filter uh, filter gallery and in the stylized folder in here just open it and choose glowing edges and for the edge width in here I will put 1, 12 in the edge brightness and 10 in the smoothness and of course you can experiment with the, the, the values that I have in here and you know choose whatever you want and I will just press ok for this and as you can see this will turn it to this now I will go back to filter blur and this time I'm gonna choose uh, Gaussian blur and I will give it three uh, radius pixels in here and I will press ok 
and then I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to color dodge and as you can see this will create this kind of highlights in here which looks really good now I'm gonna take this layer that it said with white eyes and I will put it on top in here and then I'm gonna uh, turn down the opacity for around 20% and then I'm gonna double click on it to open the left side dialog of this one in here and I will uncheck the red channel and as you can see this will create this kind of RGB uh, effect in here which looks really good now I'm gonna create a new layer and I will call it noise because we're gonna add some noise on this and then I'm gonna fill it with black so I will go to edit fill and I'm in the contents in here I'm gonna choose black and I'll press ok alright now we'll go to filter noise and I will add noise and for the amount in here I will give it 15% but you know you can uh, choose whatever percentage you want for this and in the distribution I will put Gaussian and monochromatic is checked and I'll press ok alright now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to uh, soft light and then I'm gonna press ctrl L to bring uh, the, the level adjustment and in the output in here I'm gonna take this and put it just around 70 in here and for the whites in here I will also bring it down for about 220 just like that and as you can see this will create this kind of noise or green you can say all right now I will go to adjustment and I'm gonna choose solid color and I will choose a green color just like this one in here and I'll press ok and then I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to soft light and I will bring down the opacity around 50% all right now I will go back to adjustments again and this time I'm gonna choose exposure and in the offset in here I will put 0 0.0125 and for the gamma correction I'm gonna bring it down to about 0 0.80 alright as you can see now we have this kind of effect now the last thing that we are going to do is to add a little bit of highlights on the face so I will uh, make a new layer and then I will uh, select my brush tool again and I'm gonna make this brush a little bit bigger and as you can see I still have the opacity set to 18% and uh, my foreground color is white and I will one click and I will double click on it for like three times and then I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make this bigger just like that alright and I will press enter now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to overlay and then I'm gonna put down the opacity for around 70% and as you can see this will create this kind of highlights in here alright as you can see that will be all now we can see the before and after so let me uh, take this and put it on top and as you can see this is before and this is after and that will be all for this tutorial i hope that you enjoyed and you liked this video and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching